Good morning, everyone. I am up here today in the high country of central Alabama with my buddy Micah, and we are going to try to find some snakes. As you can see, there are no leaves on the trees because it is basically winter now, even though it's still relatively warm. But uh, the snake should be active today. It's going to get up to around 70 degrees, maybe even as high as 75, depending on what forecast you're looking at. So we're going to get after it. This is an area I've never spent any time, but it's kind of Micah's home turf, so he knows it pretty well. But we're going to just hike around up here today and see what all we can turn up. So it's still kind of cool, but we're going to wait for it to warm up a little bit. You can see the habitat we're working with here. Just tons of little rocks. I'm sure there's all manner of fossorial snakes in this stuff. So we're going to flip rocks while we wait for it to warm up and then go hit some bigger outcrops for rattlesnakes. Well, I just flipped my first snake of the day and uh, it's not something I was expecting at all. That is a northern scarlet snake in C2. In this jumble of rocks. <laughs> So here on top of a mountain in Alabama in uh, almost December, I think this is the week of Thanksgiving, <laughs> is a northern scarlet snake under a rock on rock situation. Really, really strange way to start the day, but you know what? I am not complaining about that. That is so cool. This thing is huge. I don't know how, uh, how often I really put scale to scarlet snakes in my videos, but normally it seems like they're about half this size. That's ridiculous. Well, guys, this is definitely a weird and welcome start to the day. Massive northern scarlet snake. At a new spot I've never been to in Alabama. And uh, he's kind of cool looking. I mean, he's he's a little bit, I guess, dark, but really interesting looking. Definitely different from the ones we see by me. So I will take it. Excellent start to the day, if you ask me. We're going to keep hitting this area and see what else we can turn up. I mean, we've literally been here like 15 minutes and turned this guy up, so... Hopefully that's a good omen for the rest of the day, but you never know. All right, buddy, back to your rock. The sun's starting to come out, so hopefully that means the uh, snake activity will pick up here. It's a little bit cool still, probably about like 55 degrees or so. It's warming up nicely though, so first snake of the day, Northern Scarlet. All right, guys, just flipped our first salamander of the day. This little guy is a Webster salamander. Probably gonna be super common throughout the day and uh, throughout the next couple of months in Georgia and Alabama. So you'll definitely see more. They have a pretty small range and they prefer these dry ridge tops like this. So pretty cool to see this guy today. We're probably gonna see more. Micah just flipped another Webster eye. This one's a big female, but not any more inclined to sit still than the last one. So we're gonna put it back. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the day. And I'm not sure it's something I've ever seen before in Alabama, a little smooth earth snake. I'm gonna grab him real quick. As you guys know, pretty common in Georgia, but I don't spend as much time over here. So this might actually be my first one from the state of Alabama. Not sure, but I'm going to take a couple quick pictures and let him go. This rock is so nice, I decided I have to record it. So let's see if I was right. I was right. It looked great. Here's another one of these guys. I promise you guys they would be pretty common today. This is probably the nicest looking one yet, though. Good looking little plethodon Webster eye. Here's something I thought was kind of strangely absent from this area so far. The first lizard I've seen all day, little eastern fence lizard, just hanging out on this little log. Little bitty guy, this year's baby. Here's a real cool looking yellow phase Webster eye. First one of these I've gotten video of today. We don't really get this color phase in Georgia, so kind of cool to see. This might be the last one of these I show for the day unless uh, we see a spectacular one because they've been everywhere, but a little Webster eye. Decided to flip this one on camera because it's so good looking. Assuming it actually comes up. Webster eye, nice. First flip clip I've gotten one of those. Micah just flipped a baby scarlet snake. Dude, that is ridiculous. Under this rock. Look at that thing. Holy crap. That is probably the smallest scarlet snake I've ever found. I don't think I've ever seen one that small. He's freshly shed too. That's insane. Look, I mean, that's as small as they come. Freshly hatched within the last couple months. Incredible. 
So, so far today I've seen probably the biggest scarlet snake I've ever found and the smallest. Insane. This guy is really scarlet king looking, but the easiest way to tell if you flip him over, these guys have solid white bellies. So we can know that this guy is definitely a scarlet snake. Well, I never thought I'd be saying it, but northern scarlet snakes are the most common snake of the day so far. So we're gonna let this guy go and keep flipping and see if we can get another one or something else. Awesome. All right, buddy, stay safe out there. Good luck surviving your first winter. All right, guys, just found our next snake of the day and it may come as a surprise to you, but it is not a scarlet snake. It's a ring neck, something I would have expected we would have seen way earlier and way more of, but no, the single ring neck of the day so far. Maybe we'll start seeing some more now that we've kind of broken the uh, broken the ice with them, but you never know. Anyway, it's kind of neat. It's definitely something that I was expecting to see today, just uh, maybe in more quantity than we have. Kind of weird. Anyways, I'll take it. We're gonna let this guy go and keep flipping. Micah got another ring neck. A little bit bigger than the last one. They are now tied with scarlet snakes for the most common snake of the day. Where was he at? Oh, under the front. Alrighty. Get this guy back. This habitat's insane. Right yeah. It was a Webster I double flip. One of them went in that hole. You can kind of see his tail sticking out still. These guys have definitely been the most common herp of the day. Just turned over this little piece of bark on the ground. Really surprised to see this guy this late in the day. I would have expected a couple of these guys out on that nice rocky open area where we were flipping the scarlet snakes, but it's a little Eastern worm snake. Um, fairly common, obviously, but cool to see them this late in the year at this point in late November. I'll take anything I can get. Anyways, I'm really kind of shocked we didn't see more of these. It's been super nice out today and the fossorial snakes have been loving it, but uh, I mean, better late than never, I guess. A little eastern worm. So I was walking along this dead pine tree, peeking behind this barks, and uh, I lifted this piece up, and there was a two-line salamander. Not something I was expecting to see, but nevertheless, pretty cool. I was able to put his bark back, just how I found it, so. I'm gonna release him real quick, now that I've showed him to you guys. Boop. There he goes. It's not a hurt, but check these guys out. Walking sticks. Not something you see too often here, but pretty cool habitat we're in now. We're gonna walk around this for a little bit and see what we can turn up. So we're down by this creek now, and uh, here's another one of these guys in more typical habitat for them. Here along the creek, southern two-line salamander. Good afternoon, everyone. Last time you saw me, well, I don't remember where I was, but I'm gonna try to wrap up this video here at the house today. We flipped a box turtle. That is the first thing we've seen. It's been pretty slow aside from him. We're gonna get a better look real quick. So this turtle is incredibly old. If you can't tell by the various scars and markings around his shell, these turtles are known to live in excess of 100 years old, and I would not be surprised if this turtle is not far from that. Um, lots of dogs in this area, including our own, that could have possibly grabbed onto this guy at some point in history and chewed on him a little bit. But uh, either way, kind of insane how old this turtle is. It's visible. You can see it. His pattern is basically completely faded off the back there. Anyways, he is evidently pretty shy about coming out, so we're going to put him back under his tin. I think he's got a hole under here where he's been escaping from the cold, so... Hopefully he'll be able to get back to that. It's gonna be warm for the next couple days though, so he should be fine. All right. Nobody under there today. All right guys, first snake of the day, and possibly the only snake of the day since it is late November at this point. There's a little earth snake under this freshly laid piece of tin. You can see the leaves under here haven't even really started decaying yet. And this guy is hanging out. So I've noticed these guys tend to be some of the first snakes to colonize pieces of tin once I put them out. So not a surprise at all he was under there. Really cool to see this guy today given how late it is in the season. I wasn't really counting on any snakes. But uh, so far a box turtle and earth snake. Not too bad. So this set 
has had a king snake hanging out in the vicinity of it, so I'm gonna record these. Let's see if anybody shows up. Nobody under that layer. Nobody under there either. As you can see, this is also pretty recently laying. King snake. Holy crap. I think this is the same one that's been hanging out in this area, but this is a freshly laid board that this guy's under. Just, I'm gonna flip, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this next one. Just him. Awesome. Come here, buddy. I do think this is a recapture of the one that I found the most recently. All right guys, so this snake is a recapture, so I'm not gonna photograph him, but awesome to see. And a late November king, you can tell uh, we are definitely transitioning very smoothly and swiftly into winter here. The leaves are almost completely fallen and uh, the snakes are less numerous. So definitely thankful to see this guy today. Wish him the best of luck. This is probably his first winter. I think this is just a snake that uh, was born this fall and has grown quite a bit, so awesome to see. We're going to let him go back in his board pile and see if we can turn up anything else. But if not, I mean, pretty solid day. Not a snake, but always a welcome find. There's a little American toad hanging out right here between these boards. I'm just going to leave him to it, though. And gently put this back down. All right, it's starting to rain on us a little. Got a couple more things to flip. Body under there. Lots of ants. Check this piece. Nobody under there either. Well, that came out of nowhere. It is suddenly pouring rain. Anyways, cannot complain about the king snake. A recapture almost a month from the day I first caught him in October. So, pretty cool. It's pouring rain. If it keeps doing this tonight, I might go out and look for salamanders. But if not, I'll see you guys in the next episode.